Is something the matter, Karen? You seem... perturbed. Do I now? How clever of you to notice. But yes, something's come to my attention, and I'll be damned if I know what to make of it. Go on. It's probably quicker if I just show you. Here. Some sort of crystal. Though, I don't remember seeing one that colour before. Aye, well, that makes two of us. In all my long years of trading, both over and under the counter, I've never seen anything quite like it. They're calling them Dusk Crystals, on account of colour. I see. And they can be used to cast magics? That they can. Just like their brighter, shinier cousins. Difference is, they don't last as long. After a couple of goes light in your pie, they crumble away to nothing. That's how I heard about them. Front crystal trade is moaning that someone's been flooding the market with dodgy goods. And after asking the right people the right questions, and paying the right price, of course, I managed to get my hands on a sample. Hmm. I see why you're perturbed. I hope. Do you feel that, Clive? Yes. Right, lads, that'll do for today. I said that'll do for today. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Let's get this lot back to town, fill our purses and then our bellies. What did you two do now? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Please tell us you bought another lantern. Stay calm, both of you. Who needs a lantern when you've got one of these? for a single spark. Well, there'll be no more sampling the merchandise today. That sounded close, Chief. Really close. Really, really close. Now, lads, what am I always telling you? Good things come to those... Who run? Wait for us, Chief! this far inland before. Me neither. But then I'd never seen skies like these till a few moons ago, and it's been all change ever since. 
come to think of it, the first anyone ever heard of these dust crystals was after you lot came back from the Dominion and brought this bloody weather with you. Do you think the two things are connected? Who knows? Could just be that with Drake's tail gone, the black market was running short of the good stuff. The Dominion's mines were the only source of new shards left in storm after a certain evil outlaw decided to do away with the other mothers. And with the price of decent crystals going through the roof, traders turned to dealing in stuff they'd never have touched before. The question is, who's selling these crystals and where are they? Wait. This colour... They couldn't be from... Origin, could they? No, that wouldn't make sense. I saw it form in the sky and that was long after we returned from the Dominion. But if they didn't come from Origin or any of the other Mother Crystals, then... Does that mean... That you missed one? Aye. That were my thinking, any road. Another Mother Crystal we didn't know about. I'll speak with Joshua. If you're right about this, we need to find it. And quick, I'd say. On account of which, I'll take this shard over to Tomes for you. Get him to give it a once-over, case it rings any bells. Right. Thank you. And I expect you'll be wanting Jill's help with this, too. Right again. I will. Let me go and find Joshua, and we'll meet you in the shelves. Joshua, we need to talk. Karen's caught wind of something that I don't think we can afford to ignore. Aye, that is troubling. Not least because the Undying made no mention of these Dusk Crystals in any of their recent reports. So they weren't aware of them either? Perhaps. Or perhaps they merely deemed them unworthy of my attention. Wrongly, I might add, for I am inclined to share Lady Karen's misgivings. Then we'd better take her advice and consult Hippocrates forthwith. To the shelves, then. With our combined insight, I'm sure we'll discern something of use, be it no more than a place to start. Let's hope so. There you are. I've taken the liberty of telling these two everything I told you. Thank you, Karen. It's hard to believe such a lusterless shard could conjure much of anything. And you truly think this came from a mother crystal? One we never knew existed? Every other shard in the twins did. Why should these dusk crystals be any different? Dim though they may be. We know they first appeared on the black market shortly after Ultima Car's primogenesis, darkening the skies. So might the two be connected? Could the spell have created a new mother crystal, perhaps? A replacement for the ones we destroyed? What do you think, Hippocrates? I think there may well be a connection. Yet, if we are to believe that the original mother crystals were of Ultima's making, does it seem likely that he would have need of anything so palpably inferior? No. I hazard that it was not Ultima who created these crystals, but humanity. More specifically, our fallen forebears, whose wonders litter the land even now. Legend holds that the fallen challenged the gods in order to win their power and came tantalizingly close to doing so. It seems only reasonable that they should wish to learn the secrets of the crystals which the gods bestowed upon them. So they could make their own. Precisely. You may recall that the tale of the sins of Zemeckis begins with the Colloquy of the Sages, a council wherein humanity sought to uncover the last secrets of the gods before waging their war to learn what little remained. It is perfectly possible that an understanding of how to craft crystals was among their many achievements. Among their many achievements prior to their fall. <laughs> Indeed. The same enlightened souls 
forged great and terrible weapons called the Iconoclasts, from which icons derive their name, and turned them against each other in the Magitech War. A pointless conflict which served only to make its victors more confident of their right to supplant the gods on high. And when at last they ventured to do so, the resultant imbalance in the ether is said to have been so great that the skies themselves turned black and began to boil. The first recorded RK sky, I suspect. Which brings us back to the matter at hand. It is my belief that these shards are the product of a long slumbering Magitech mother crystal, stirred to life by a similar etheric upheaval to the one which accompanied its creator's fall. There's only one way to know for sure. We track down whoever's selling them and find their source. Karen, where did you buy this one? Down in Port Isolde when I was scratching around for supplies. Since the Imperials buggered off and took the tariffs with them, you can find all sorts of interesting stuff on the docks. Go and have a chat with the mercenaries guarding the gaze. Your uncle's got some good lads there. You know when to keep a watchful eye and when to turn a blind one. Oh, and take the crystal with you. Might be your key to the underworld. Thank you. I will. Shall we then? Brother. I'm coming too. If there is another Mother Crystal out there and it's anything like the others, you'll need all the help you can get. I was hoping you'd say that. One more time then. Together. Fabio! Slow down! <laughs> Not bloody likely! <laughs> Fuck me. They're fast on their feet. What's going on here, I wonder? What indeed? Let's ask. Excuse me. Who were those men just now? <sighs> Bloody troublemakers, that's who. As soon as I asked them to present their packs for inspection, they turned white as a sheet and lead did. I chased them all the way from the gates, but they're swift as hares. Still, at least we kept the bastards out. Don't need their kind stirring up any more strife. And what manner of strife have they been stirring up, exactly? Hey, Are you joking? This business with the crystals. Sorry, we've been away for a while. What's been going on? All right, I'll humor you. After the paltry rations the Imperials left behind dried up, folks started trading crystals out in the open. We turned a blind eye at first. Lord Byron's orders. Well, he saw it, it went right to deny people the one thing they were all clamoring for. Till the dust started turning up, that is. Dusk crystals, they're called. Ill-favoured shards that crack as soon as you look at them. Not that the folk who bought them by the bucket load knew that. And they were baying for blood when they found out. In the end, his lordship had to step in and ban the blasted things. And we've been searching the pack of every trader who's darkened our gates ever since. I see. And you think the men you were pursuing might have been trading in these dusk crystals? Why? You're in the market for some. Anyway, I wouldn't rule it out. In fact, I put a few gill on it. We might still be able to catch them. We might. If you are heading up that way, you'll want to keep your sword handy. There's more than dodgy traders plying the roads these days. Understood. We'll be careful. If those men were selling dusk crystals, I think it's unlikely that they will risk returning to Port Isolde. Which means this might be our only chance of catching them. There's another one. Still no sign of those traders, though. No. I just hope we haven't lost them. 
These blimmin' tremors are scaring off all our customers. <laughs> the few that weren't scared off by the skies, you mean? Uh, perhaps one of those merchants has seen something. Forgive me, but did you happen to see three men in robes pass this way? Yeah, I seen them. <laughs> Poor bastards. What do you mean? A gang of nasty-looking brutes was on their trail. Caught up with them just up the road, screaming at them they were, your crystals are your lives and all that. Only the daft buggers kept their crystals and legged it. In which direction, out of interest? Up that way. Towards the old help docks. If it's help they seek there, they won't find any. But perhaps they might find a place to hide. Let's hope so. And then we can find them before their pursuers do. Thank you. And please, take care on the road. Come on. They're no good to us dead. Lead the way, brother. Go on, you can go on. I'll reach this should be far enough. Uh, Chief. They've found us. Oh, it's getting so a man can't even catch his fucking breath. Gentlemen, a word. We understand you've been selling some crystal. And like I told you, thieving mates, you're not fucking getting them. So you could take your massive sword and shove it. I'm sure I could, but we're not thieves. Over here! I can smell the one who shat himself. Um, if you've got a plan, Chief. Tell us you've got a plan. Of course I've got a bloody plan. Good things and all that. Let's start again, shall we? You say you're interested in the crystal trade? Not exactly. In actual fact, we were hoping to talk about this. Is that all? Well, then I know just how to help. If you're after the short shifter, he's over here! Are you mad? <sighs> Slippery little pricks. Clinkers on the ground, quick as you like. Gentlemen, you've got it all wrong. Do we look like merchants? He's the one you want. Just look at what he's got in his hand. What? Him? Wait, I'm not. <sighs> Do let us know if you need any more help. <laughs> they won't get far, Clive. No, but they'll wish they had. Did you see which way they went? North. Making for three reeds at a guess. After them. If they reach the swamps, we'll never pick up their trail. What did he find, boy? Clive, judging by the state of the ground, a lot more passed this way than our three charlatans. Another group of bandits? <sighs> I doubt they'd leave this crystal behind. Regardless, we're on the right track. 
Let's pick up the pace. Good girl. Fly, Ambrosia. They wouldn't risk stopping at Martha's rest, would they? Not if they hope to pass unnoticed. Then we'd better stick to the swamps. Fuck. Persistent bastards, I'll give them that. Friends, I knew those louts were no match for you. But of course you did. Because you know what we're capable of, don't you? Now, you deal in crystal. Dusk crystal. And we want to know where you got it. So you're going to tell us. Let's assume for a moment that we are the merchants you're looking for. Why would we tell you where we procure our stock? What kind of shepherd leads a wolf straight to you? Oh, oh, oh. oh. Are they getting worse? Clive, the tower. Well, that's new. That's impossible. Yeah, Chief, do you think someone else got into the tower? Fire to your daft sword. And what would they find there if they did? I... I wouldn't know. I've never been there. Echoes, maybe? Or fallen rubbish? I really couldn't say. The entrance is sealed tight. No way in. And how would you know that? If you've never been there? I... Uh... Look! Behind you! An Akashic monster! If you think I'm going to fall for another one of your cheap tricks... Clive, trouble. What? Oh. But at least we know what was chasing the merchants. <sighs> That's twice we've saved them now. <sighs> I... I don't see anyone. I've had enough of bandits and beasts, Chief. Can't we just go home? And let those thieving pricks march in and take what's ours? What's ours? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't mean... The Dusk Crystal's Eye. Halleck? Marnik? We're going back to that tower if it's the last thing we do. But the lights, Chief. What about the lights? Ah. Uh, first you whine about it being too dark, then you whine about it being too light. Think about how easy it'll be to mine now. And you're sure they're bound for the tower? 
When they aren't running away from trouble, they're running towards it. Do you know anything of the place, Joshua? Alas, not. I have seen it labelled Sage Spire on some maps, but beyond that, the ruins are no different from any other fallen derelict. Another impenetrable relic of the past. Not so impenetrable, apparently. Our friends plainly found a way in. They could be living there, like we do in the Invincible. Well, the tower is unquestionably large enough to hide three merchants. But is it large enough to hide what we seek? A Mother Crystal. It would go some way to explain why the area was among the first in Rosaria to fall to the Blight. Then it's settled. We head to Eastpool and make our approach from the Dim. To think there could have been a Mother Crystal here in Rosaria all this time. The wars that could have been avoided. We still don't know what's in there, Clive. But, whatever it is, there is a good reason it has gone unnoticed for so long. The tower sits atop a jagged ridge. Few have ever had occasion to pick their way through the rocks, even before the Blight swallowed them. Are those... goblins? What are they doing in the Deadlands? Look what they're carrying. I don't recall ever hearing of goblins using fallen relics as weapons. Well, they certainly are welcoming gifts. Clive, remember where we are. No magic. Right. They're even uglier up close. Let's hope that was the last of them. Indeed. I'd almost forgotten what it was like to have to rely on steel alone. Clive? Chill. You may want to see this. What? It was open when I found it. Someone was in a hurry. Three guesses as to who. Then this must be their way into the tower. There's only one way to find out. Somebody's woken this place up. The question is... Who? Well, I can tell you who it wasn't. Unauthorized biometrics detected. Someone's here. Initializing security scan. Safety protocols disengaged. I don't think that was someone, Clive. I think it was the tower. Either way... It doesn't sound like we're welcome. Keep your guard up. Well, look. 
Look who it is. Systems engaged. Initiating sterilization lockdown. What the hell is he talking about, Joshua? Good things, lads. Good things. Sentinel 503 offline. Initiating emergency call relocation protocol. If I didn't know better, I'd say that was the heart of a mother crystal. I knew that fallen thing was no match for you. Allow me to apologize for earlier. That was, uh, ill played. All born of a misunderstanding, though. Can we start again? We don't need your apologies. We need answers. And you're going to give them to us. I uh, suppose you'll be wanting to know about the tower, then. As you've probably guessed, this isn't the first time we've been here. Fact is, my people have been coming to this place for centuries. Have they now? To these ruins in particular? Aye, well, they, uh, talked to us. Told us what this lot was all for. And what is it for? Well, believe it or not, the Fallen were actually using this place to make their own, uh, Mother Crystal. Though, despite years of searching, all we ever found was shards. Then, Harpocrates was right. It would seem that the Fallen did indeed acquire the gods' ability to craft crystals. I wouldn't go that far. The shards aren't exactly divine. They're not even what you'd call decent. But they're better than nothing, and nothing is what our people had before we found them. So we've been coming here ever since. But these dust crystals have only recently appeared on the black market. What made you decide to start selling them? The skies. 
Once they went dark, the crystals started growing back till there were more than you could count. And with the mothers all cracked, anyone with anything that could muster so much as a spark had people queuing up to take their coin. Yes, at a cost to us all. Quality apart, these crystals are no different from the ones the world has been using since the dawn of time. And it cannot continue. No, it cannot. While this is clearly none of Ultima's doing, there can be little doubt but that it serves his cause. Then our path is clear. So let's do what must be done. Wait, you lot aren't thinking what I think you're thinking, are you? Oh, I think there's a good chance we are. But, but uh, what about... What about the tower's defences? That thing you just fought, it won't be the last one. And the further you climb, the worse they'll get. How about we head back to Martha's before someone gets hurt, eh? That is sound advice, which I suggest you take before someone gets hurt. idea what those are. They seem to be containers of some sort. Oh, or perhaps... Cages. Like some sort of twisted menagerie. But why here? these things are there. Contaminant detected. Releasing subjects Alpha to Epsilon. Transferring Sentry Prototype AM2 to Stasis Silo West. We'll just have to hope those crystals it's sporting are as worthless as the others. Neural 
Link lost. Re-establishing connection. Imagine an entire war fought with these things. The quantity of ether required to animate them all would be unfathomable. No wonder they were trying to manufacture their own crystals. Unable to establish connection. Raising threat index. It seems we've made an impression. Authorized entry detected. Primary core firewalls activated. Initializing iconoclastic defense system Omega-1. What the hell is an iconoclastic defense system? I have a feeling we're about to find out. And that we will not like the answer. If we want it... <laughs> if we want it... All we have to do is kill an icon. Safety routines disabled. Weapons armed. Stand clear. Is it over? Please tell me it's over. Data assessment. Complete. Recalculating threat level. Weapon routines authorized. Rerouting core power to Omega-1. Not yet. And what makes you say that?
like a control unit. Offline. Initiating emergency core extraction. Would you care to do the honors, Clive? I told you to leave this place. What must you ruin us all? I, I cannot let you do that. We need these crystals. They're all we have. And just who is this we? We are of an ancient tribe, one of the first to lose its lands to the blight. For countless years, we were forced to roam the Twins. A nation without a Mother Crystal. A people without a blessing. So we found our own. The Dust Crystals provide us a means to survive. Yes, but at what cost? Like all crystals, these shards channel ether. And where do you think that ether comes from? It sucked from the land, as a leech sucks blood from a beast. And what? You just expect us to believe that? No, but that doesn't make what we've told you any less true. If this heart is anything like the others, it will bleed the twins of their life force, till naught remains, naught but death. The proof is all around. What do you think robbed your people of their home in the first place? We are trying to stop that from happening again. And this is the only way. Fuck me! You're Sid! You saw what happened after the Empire lost Drake's head. What do you suppose they will do when they find out, as they surely will? That there is another heart hidden right here under their noses. Your people's need will count for naught. Damn it. It doesn't look like we have much of a choice. But you said you didn't believe him, Chief. I don't. But the man does have a point. There's no keeping this place a secret now. And hanging on to these crystals will only get our people killed. Have it your way then. Just promise me you'll leave my people out of it. Stand back. It's about to get hot in here. Oh, we 
did the right thing. We all saw the crystals fade, but what of the cages? We barely even explored half of the chambers. Mm, without the heart to sustain them, I doubt those still slumbering in the tower will stir now, if ever. I hope you're right. The last thing the world needs is one of those six-legged pests running around wreaking havoc. We have more than enough two-legged pests to deal with as it is. However blameless they may claim to be. What? Oh, two-legged. Right. Sorry. I was just wondering what I'm going to tell the village elders when we get back. I suppose I'll just beg them for forgiveness, and when that doesn't work, give them the slip and lie low for a year or two. You're planning to run away. Again. What? It's got us this far, hasn't it? I mean, we may have had a bit of help, like... Kind of you to remember. Will you and your people be all right? Oh, we've made do without before. I reckon we'll survive. And if what you said is true, it's not like the rest of the realm's going to have it much easier. Besides, one man's ordeal is another man's opportunity, as the old saying goes. I don't recall ever hearing that one, but... fine. Now, if you don't mind, we've got places to be. We do? I mean, we do. Uh, thanks for uh, everything. I said, we've got places to be. Back to the hideaway then. Karen and Hippocrates will want to hear about this. Uh, I was thinking we might first return to the tower and see if we can... Back to the hideaway, then. Back, are ya? So? Did you find out where the dust crystals were coming from, or what? It's, uh, a long story. And perhaps one better told in the shelves. Bloody hell. Remind me never to go poking round in any fallen ruins. Not only a mother crystal of human creation, but an icon as well. Truly, the study of our fallen forebears is endlessly rewarding. The wonders of which they were capable never cease to amaze. They came as something of a surprise to us, too. You can say that again. We had no idea what we were getting ourselves into when we set foot in that tower. We only knew the old stories. Of a people so consumed by greed that they sought to overthrow the gods. 
The night has it the thing we found in that tower was conceived for that very purpose. Omega. The offspring of the Fallen's boundless knowledge and unchecked ambition. A dangerous combination for all concerned. And Ultima crushed them. It was he whose secrets the Fallen coveted, let's not forget. He whom they strove to dethrone. Just as we strive to dethrone him now. Without their knowledge. And without their weapons of war. Clive. This power I've been given may exceed even theirs. But if I use it, as they did... Who's to say things won't end the same way? Come now, brother. I think the events of recent days have made it abundantly clear that we are not our ancestors. As well you know. You're right. They made crystals. We destroy them. In crafting their artificial art, the Fallen sought to emulate the Divine. But that is not the path we have chosen. No. We don't want to be gods. We just want to be free. Well said. If one does not learn from the mistakes of the past, one is doomed to repeat them. And so, I mean to write down everything you've told me to the very last detail, that those who come after might learn from our travails, and perhaps, just perhaps, forge a brighter future for our descendants. <laughs>